So Google has finally wrapped up its much anticipated Pixel 8 event which happened in New York where the company as expected announced the Pixel 8, the Pixel 8 Pro as well as the second generation Pixel Watch which is called the Pixel Watch 2. Alongside those announcements, Google also unveiled new colors for the Pixel Buds Pro as well as new generative AI based features coming to the Pixel 8 series of smartphones. Talking about the Pixel 8 series, just like previous years, there are two mainline Pixel devices this time around as well, the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, Pixel 8 is both smaller and cheaper of the two and it comes with a 6.2 inch display that supports Full HD plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. Now it is not an LTPO panel unlike the Pixel 8 Pro which gets a 6.7 inch panel with LTPO support and QHD plus resolution and of course it supports 120Hz refresh rate as well. But the real upgrade this time around has to be the display brightness which is now uh, whopping 2400 nits. This makes it much brighter than some of the rivals including the iPhone 15 Pro which stands at 2000 nits. Now both the Google Pixel 8 models are powered by the custom made Tensor G3 chipset along with the Titan M2 security coprocessor and both the devices run on the latest Android 14 out of the box. Coming to the optics, the Pixel 8 has a dual camera setup which consists of a 50 megapixel primary sensor as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. The Pixel 8 Pro on the other hand gets a triple camera setup with the 50 megapixel main camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens as well as another 48 megapixel telephoto sensor which supports super red zoom up to 30x. Now the real camera upgrades are promised with the Pixel 8 Pro. As the Pixel 8 Pro gets a slew of new features including video boost. With the video boost feature on the Pixel 8 Pro, Google will give you a high quality video right away but the company says they will upload uh, the video to the cloud where computational photography models will be applied to the entire video. Another pro feature that the Pixel 8 misses out on is Pro Controls. So now the Pixel 8 Pro will allow users to change settings like ISO, shutter speed, white balance and even focus. So this will allow shutter bugs and photography enthusiasts to capture images with much more precision and control and they won't have to rely on auto settings. Another major feature coming to the Pixel 8 series is better software support. So starting with the Pixel 8 series, Google will be offering 7 years of OS upgrades and this means your Pixel 8 devices will be supported up until 2030 at least. Talking about the prices, the Pixel 8 series in India has seen a price hike. So the Pixel 8 now starts at 7599 while the Pixel 8 Pro starts at 1,6999 Indian rupees. You can bring these prices down to 6499 for the Pixel 8 and 9399 for the Pixel 8 Pro if you choose to opt for the card and exchange bonuses. And Google is also offering the Pixel Watch 2 for 1999 if you choose to buy the Pixel 8 series phone and you can also opt for the Pixel Buds Pro which will be available at 899 if you buy any of these phones. Now let's talk about the Pixel Watch 2 and for starters not a lot has changed when it comes to the design and aesthetics with the same curved glass on the front and the circular dial shape. And with the Pixel Watch 2, Google has also doubled down on its fitness centric abilities thanks to the inclusion of three new multi-path sensors which enable things like body temperature tracking, better heart rate tracking as well as new stress monitoring system. Another valuable feature coming with the Pixel Watch 2 is safety check and this has been brought over from the Pixel series of devices. So that was everything that Google announced during its Made by Google event. We will continue to update you what comes of the Pixel 8 series and we will be posting detailed reviews of the Pixel 8 series smartphones over on News 18 Tech to Gizmos so stay tuned for that. I am Shaurya Sharma reporting for CNN News 18.